Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. On today's Check Out the Tech, I am bringing you a full computer RAM buying guide. Now, if you want to find out what RAM is, check our Tech 101 video linked in the description. But a brief explanation is it allows you to do multiple things at the same time. It comes in different sizes, types, capacities, and clock speeds. Keep in mind, we are making this video at the end of 2022, so things can change in a couple of years but subscribe to our channel for future updates. And this video is brought to you today by G-Skill. G-Skill has made some of the most reliable RAM in the industry, and I myself recently upgraded my RAM in my laptop with 32 gigs of G-Skill RAM. Now, the first thing you should know is that there are two main sizes of RAM, SODIM and DIM. SODIM is laptop RAM and is shorter and has around 262 pins. DIM is desktop RAM and has around 288 pins. Next, we'll move on to the different types. As of this video, there are two main current types of RAM, DDR4 and DDR5. How do you know which one you'll need? Well, it's your motherboard. Your motherboard can decide on which RAM you have. Some older AM4 socket motherboards, for instance, can only take DDR4 RAM, while newer AM5 socket motherboards can only take DDR5 RAM. Lastly, unlike past generations, we currently have some motherboards that can use either DDR4 or DDR5 RAM memory. What's the difference? As you probably guessed, DDR5 is newer, faster, better for future-proofing, and costs a little bit more. So while I would recommend it, I would shop our deals like Newegg Live Deal Show and our daily Shellshocker deals. Now we go to clock speed, which is how fast your RAM goes and is measured in megahertz. You have 3200, you have 5200, 6000, and so many in between. What speed you get will again be determined by the speeds your motherboard works with. A safe bet if upgrading your RAM is to just go with the same speed you had with a higher capacity. But if you want the top speed, see what's the top speed your motherboard can reach. There are many different ways to find out what that speed is. Motherboard manuals, laptop specs, websites like Crucial, and many, many more. Now we get to the most important part, capacity. How many gigabytes of RAM do you need? The lowest you can typically find now is eight gigs of RAM, but that will slow down your computer if you have more than 25 tabs open on your browser or run more than three to four programs. That's why I recommend most people start or upgrade to 16 gigs for a good average PC experience. Gamers also should know that 16 gigs is the starting point because many mid-range games nowadays use up to eight gigs of RAM by themselves. So when do you need to upgrade to 32 gigs of RAM? Well, definitely for 4K video editing, especially for smoother playback, and if you're gaming while on Discord, streaming, screen capturing, and more. 64 gigs of RAM and above gets more into professional video editing, After Effects, Photoshop, and 3D rendering all at the same time. Now, before I go over the most important parts, let's get into three additional specs. Channel memory is first, single, dual, and quad channel memory. The more channels you have, the more bandwidth you have. So when given the choice between one 32 gig stick of RAM or two 16 gig sticks, the two 16s would actually run faster with everything else created equal. Second, there is RAM that works better with new CPUs. These are labeled as Intel XMP, which is currently on XMP 3.0, and AMD Expo. This RAM works with your CPU to give you faster performance and definitely worth picking for gaming. Finally, there is also latency, but in my experience, this has a minimal difference, especially when compared to everything else we talked about. So what should influence your buying decision? Most important thing is capacity. You wanna get as much capacity as you think you'll need for now and later. Then I recommend DDR5, if at all possible, as we'll see DDR4 get less and less support over the next two to three years. Then dual channel, your CPU memory boost technology, and you're good to go. Clock speed, I usually have gone with what I had before, unless a higher speed has a good deal. But those are my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comment section. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy.